Hello. The situation in Lebanon raises a lot of concerns, and France is following it closely. Hezbollah has continued its attacks on Israel, while Israeli military operations in Lebanon have continued, including land incursions in violation of Lebanese sovereignty. The solution is clear. France is calling for an immediate ceasefire. This was the proposal made by President Macron and Biden at the General Assembly two weeks ago. It is still on the table. The parties must seize it. A ceasefire should help bring about the, a political settlement to the situation. The method is simple. Full implementation of UN Security Council Resolution 1701. This resolution is recognized by both parties. In the context of the current crisis, France will be organizing a ministerial conference in Paris on 24 October to respond to the emergency relief needs of the Lebanese population and to identify ways of supporting Lebanon's institution, in particular the Lebanese armed forces. As 700 French soldiers are deployed under the UN's flag on the ground, I would, also, I would also like to highlight UNIFIL's role, which is crucial to promote stability at the Lebanese-Israeli border. We support the UN decision to maintain UNIFIL positions close to the Blue Line. The various incidents of this morning, after Israeli defense forces fired at UN positions, are unacceptable. Strikes on UNIFIL stations and positions must stop now, and all parties must ensure the security of UNIFIL. Thank you. Uh, to implement 1701, which all, all parties now seem to want to implement it, and I heard uh, you and others speak in the Security Council, they want to implement, they see it as the way out of this uh, uh, crisis. Don't we need a ceasefire first to implement 17? Shouldn't Israel want a ceasefire to have the full implementation of 1701? And secondly, is France open to additions and changes to 1701? Because we heard Israeli officials speaking about other mandates for UNIFIL and for even the Lebanese army. Would France accept that? Thank you. Uh, number one, uh, of course we need first a ceasefire and we need a ceasefire now. If we want to move to the next phase, which is a political settlement, we need first to have a ceasefire. And number two, 1701 remains the appropriate and relevant framework. We'll see if at one stage we need to adjust this framework, but the, this framework has been agreed in 2006. The question is not very much uh, about changing this framework. The question is to implement fully this framework, which has not been the case. So we need to find a way to implement the missing uh, provisions of 1701 in the next weeks and months. This is absolutely essential, as it stands. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I want to ask about the Lebanese army. It seems that this is uh, going to be one of the main points to discuss in Paris yeah. on the 24th. So what kind of support? Are you talking about money? Are you talking about yeah. uh, equipment? We are open. I think, you know, one of the questions that is related to what I just uh, said to Kara is that, you know, 1701 means uh, it's going to get out of the area, one, and the northern part of the island should be secured for by the military, but uh, mainly by the Lebanese army. And this thing, this piece has been missing. We need the Lebanese armed forces to be deployed to the top and do the job. But they need help, of course. So what we need to do is to make sure that the Lebanese armed forces are properly uh, equipped and trained and so on to do the job. There is a question of political will from the, from the Lebanese uh, authority as well. But we need to provide enough support to help the Lebanese army, army to be able to perform. This effort has started years ago, and I think we have not reached the point where the Lebanese army has been deployed to perform. And that is the critical element. Ambassador, is, is Paris on the same?
same page as Washington in terms of uh, the, State, the State Department's messaging has been in the last days that this appears to be an opportunity, that Hezbollah is uh, decimated, so it's an opportunity that they're we, willing we, to we, let it go on. I think we, we don't uh, present things as an opportunity. <laughs> I think, you know, you have one million Lebanese people displaced. It's not an opportunity, it's a tragedy. Kill. Different. So, and we are civilian casualties, which is not an opportunity, this is a tragedy. So what we need to think is to help these people to respect Lebanon's sovereignty, the Lebanon's security. And what we need to see is also the threat, the threat posed to Israel, which is a threat posed by Israel. So we need to move to the next phase, and as I just said, fully implement Resolution 1701, which is provide, providing security in this area instead of providing uh, threats and uh, rockets. Ambassador.